Hello friends, it's Dave here from Save Decks, and I hope the year 2023 has been good for you all thus far. Uh, it's been pretty good for me so far, and I'm looking forward to what Nintendo is going to be bringing this year. We know of a few things that are coming out, but there's quite a lot to go over really as to what else they could bring. So I'm going to make some predictions. I'm going to go through Nintendo's franchises that I think are likely to be revealed or have new games come out and just see what I think of this year and then afterwards I'm going to look at my predictions from last year and just see how accurate I was so you can see whether my predictions are to be trusted. So just before we get started, remember I do not work for Nintendo, I have no inside knowledge whatsoever, I am just a lifetime Nintendo fan and I like to make some educated guesses based on previous uh, patterns and stuff like that. But at the same time I could be completely wrong as uh, last year's predictions Spoiler alert, weren't that good. So let's go over what I think will happen for Nintendo in the year 2023. So I'm just basically going to go through Nintendo's franchises that I think will get shown. So let's start with the Mario one. So I think we will get a new Mario game this year. I don't think we'll get a Mario spin-off. I'm going to put that first and foremost. No Mario spin-offs, no new Mario Party, no new sports game or anything like that. Uh, but I'll go into spin-offs in a second. I think we'll get a proper Mario platformer, 2D or 3D, doesn't really matter to me. But if it is 3D, I think it'll be more in the vein of maybe 3D World or Bowser's Fury, something like that. Uh, I don't think we'll get Mario Odyssey 2. On the side of spin-offs though, we're obviously going to get the last three waves of the Mario Kart 8 DLC. Uh, another prediction is I think those waves will come in April, August and December, give four months between each one. And speaking of DLC as well, I think we are going to get some Mario Party Superstars DLC. Now last year I was thinking about that and I thought they were going to add like extra boards for free. Like the free updates like they do for Mario Strikers and things like that. But because they haven't done it yet and the game's been out for over a year, I think it's going to come still but I think it's going to be paid DLC. Maybe they'll add 5 more boards and charge whatever they want to for that. But if you own the Nintendo Switch Expansion Pack Pass, you'll get it for free. I think they'll go that route with it. So if they do that, I'll be happy with that. So let's move on to Donkey Kong now. I think we'll see a Donkey Kong game. I, keep, I say this every year, maybe that's out of hope. But it's been long enough now. Let's give us a Donkey Kong game. Let's give us a 3D one. Although I think the only way we'd get a 3D Donkey Kong game is if the Mario game doesn't happen. So maybe we'll get a 2D Donkey Kong and a 3D Mario or a 2D Mario and a 3D Donkey Kong. So it'll be one of those ways around I'd say. So moving on to Legend of Zelda, we didn't get Tears of the Kingdom last year, it got delayed. And you know what, it's been delayed till May this year. Uh, I think they will stick to that release date. I think they'll do a sort of a tra another trailer for it in the February Direct. And then I think they'll do a full-blown direct for the game itself for maybe April time. And that will be everything for Zelda this year. I don't think we'll get those Wind Waker Twilight Princess ports that... I, I really want them, but I, I think Tears of the Kingdom is enough for this year. Uh, so that's the Zelda stuff coming this year. But let's go on to Metroid Prime 4. Uh, so I think we know we're getting E3 this year now, uh, as it stands anyway. Um, so I think Metro Prime 4 will be revealed at E3 and it will be coming out in the year 2024. But in the meantime, they will either release the Metro Prime Trilogy in the latter half of this year or that rumoured Metroid Prime 1 remake. One of the two, uh, I can't say which, um, obviously I'm just guessing anyway. But I think I'm leaning towards the Metro Prime 1 remake because Nintendo likes to do their single game remakes rather than collections. Uh, so that's what I think will happen. But Metro Prime 4, we'll, we should be seeing it this year. And speaking of games that we should be seeing this year, I think Pikmin 4 will either get teased or ignored at the February Direct, if we have that. But then it'll get properly revealed at E3 and it'll be a September or October release date. Uh, Fire Emblem, I think, you know, Fire Emblem Engage is coming out very, very soon. I think that's everything we'll get for Fire Emblem outside of DLC packs for the Warriors game or, or this new one. We'll get DLC for those, I reckon, but no new games for Fire Emblem. On the Pokemon side of things, I think we will get 
DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in the vein that Pokemon Sword and Shield got. I don't think we'll see another Pokemon game this year outside of that. Maybe obviously Pokemon Unite and other mobile stuff will get extra things added. But when it comes to console games, I think it will just be uh, Gen 9 getting DLC and patches and things like that. So going on to the Switch console itself, I'd like to talk about Nintendo Switch Online. I think we will get, before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, they'll announce that the DLC packs for Breath of the Wild will be added to the expansion pack, like how the Octo expansion for Splatoon 2 was added to NSO a few months before uh, Splatoon 3 came out, so that could be a good way to boost hype for Tears of the Kingdom, because people that own Breath of the Wild but haven't bought the DLC will be able to try that out, get back into that game, and I think that'd be a good way to do that. So I'm going to say sadly, I don't think we'll see a new F-Zero game, I don't think we'll see Kid Icarus, I don't think we'll see Star Fox, no Punch-Out, no Wario, no Yoshi, I think those sorts of franchises, I'd like to be proven wrong there, uh, but I, I don't think they'll bring that back. I don't think we'll see anything on the Xenoblade or Bayonetta side of things that we don't already know about, um, obviously Bayonetta's getting that spin-off game, but... I, I don't see them doing anything more with those series since they've recently had big games out. And outside of maybe updates for those games, I don't see anything coming for those. I also think at some point this year, we will get Advance Wars, that remake there. I think that's bound to come out this year at some point, hopefully. The game is finished, we know, and it's obviously been delayed for it, understandably. So <laughs> I think that will, that will definitely come out. And finally, I'd like to go back to Nintendo Switch Online. I think in September they will do what they did a couple of years ago where they announced the expansion pack, new consoles. I think they're going to add GBA games to the expansion pack owners and Game Boy, Game Boy Color games to the base tier of the NSO. That way you're adding value to the expansion pack that people want it to have. And at the same time, you're not leaving out the people that haven't got the expansion pack, people that have just the base subscription. They're still getting something, they're still getting Game Boy, Game Boy Color games, but I think that'll be a nice way to do that one. And I'd better mention Kirby, hadn't I? He's getting his remake coming out in February, but other than that, I don't think we're going to get any more Kirby games this year. And so those are my predictions for what Nintendo will bring in the year 2023. So before we leave, let's go through what I thought of last year and uh, how right I was. So my first prediction last year, I predicted that uh, Pokemon, Kirby, Bayonetta 3, Splatoon 3, Advance Wars, Breath of the Wild 2, Mario Rabbids Sparks of Hope, I listed them all and said all of them are coming out in 2022. But Breath of the Wild 2, now Tears of the Kingdom, that didn't come out last year and Advance Wars didn't come out as well, so that prediction was wrong. I said there'd be no Mario platformer, I was right there. I said there would be Mario Party DLC, I was wrong. I said there'd be a 3D Donkey Kong game, I was wrong. I said that Breath of the Wild 2 would be shown at E3 and with a holiday release, well I was wrong there, there wasn't even an E3 was there. I said there'd be a Wind Waker Twilight Princess collection, I was wrong. Metroid Prime 4 revealed at E3, coming 2023, I was wrong there. And I said the Prime Trilogy would also get announced and I was wrong there. I've actually made that exact same prediction for this year though, so let's see there. I said there would be no F-Zero, no Yoshi, Wario, Star Fox, Kid Icarus or Punch-Out. I listed those games again, not for this year as well. I was right, we didn't get any of those games last year, so got a prediction right. You could count that as me getting six predictions right there, but I'm counting it as one. I said we'd get uh, <laughs> Gen 2 remakes in the Pokemon Let's Go style. I was wrong. I said Earthbound would be added to NSO, which I was right, it was, but I said it would be in time for a Mother 3 remaster, I was wrong there. I said Pikmin 4 will be revealed with a 2023 release date, and I was right about that. And then I said Xenoblade Chronicles 3 will be revealed and it will have a 2023 release date. Well, I was right about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 being revealed, but I was wrong about its release date, so that's one point each. So I made 15 predictions there, I got 5 of them right and 10 of them wrong. So a third of my predictions come true. If you want to count those franchises I listed that um, as separate predictions rather than one bulk one, then I got 10 right and 10 wrong. I was only half right, but still, half of my predictions are right or a third of my predictions are right, whichever way you want to look at it. 
So let me know in the comments down below what you think of Nintendo's 2023, what you think is going to happen, because it'll be interesting to see what you think of these and what you'd like to see as well. Because um, obviously what I've predicted, what I would like is a bit different. I'd like all the Zeldas, obviously. But uh, just let me know down below anyway. Make sure you subscribe so we can keep up with this year together. And I will see you in the next one. Happy New Year, everyone.